In the year 1932, cities were starving and dying, but the village still ate bread, oblivious that soon it too would die a hungry death. The mass production of bread had begun during government appraisals of food surplus during the 1920s, but the government had felt that it needed a stronger master over the peasantry. This laid a cruel precedent of peasant abuse and ushered in new economic politics. With the onset of the Stalinist era, the government instituted policies utilizing extremely harsh and repressive measures. Thus began the dispossessions. Every grain was swept clean from the peasants' bins and silos. Dispossessed families were sent to Selevki and later to Siberia, sparing neither the sick, the children, nor the elderly. They were not allowed to get ready for the road, to take warm clothes with them, nor to say goodbye to loved ones. With rifle stocks they were beaten as they were kicked out of their houses. With rifle butts they were driven into trucks, in spite of cries of lamentation and groans. The wheat, looted from the peasants, was poured out without bags onto the platforms, not even covered in case of bad weather, and taken away somewhere unknown to us.